In this video, we're going to cover a new rebate control that we've added to Lizzie. Um, it basically gives you the ability to go through uh, your list of models that you have in stock or that you just have a list of model numbers um, and be able to quickly go through and change the rebate information as well as the pricing information that's associated with those units. Um, it doesn't really matter if you've got the units in stock or not. You'll see when you start using the control. Um, it can work with things that you may not stock and the things that you actually have in inventory at the same time. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the serialized section and we're going to go to management and then rebates. And that's going to open up the main control. And you'll notice across the top, we have the ability to narrow down specifically what we're looking at. So if we come up here, for example, and we decide that we want to look at only the Honda, we can select Honda and it'll it'll bring up the whatever units we have in Honda. Now we're in the demo database at the moment and the there's quite a few Hondas in here that uh, some of them have units and some don't. So it, pretty bad example for what it's going to look like in your database, but you'll get the point. So looking at this, um, we've got some of these units, or at least on this screen, we've got one unit that's tagged that it's no longer available to order. Um, so we can see that easily here. Um, we also have got a list of all of the models. Now I can come up here and narrow it down farther by the entering in a model number. I can tell it to only show units that have rebates. Um, so that'll bring up a list of all of the units that we have, uh, or all the model numbers that we have that have rebates associated with them. I can also tell it to only show the, the ones that have expired rebates on it, on them. Um, and, uh, only, I'm sorry, that's the ones that have non-expired or the ones that have expired. So I can quickly come down through here and look at all the expired rebates. And if I wanted to change the rebates, I'm going to hit the pencil over here on the right. That'll open up the, the individual rebates that we have. If we need to, to change the expiration date on it, we can just edit it and then come in here and change that date to a more current date. So we'll just change it to here and then save it. And then this particular unit, when we close out of here, that unit just disappeared because it no longer has an expired rebate on it. So it gives you the ability to, to go through and, and work with the rebates specifically based on model number. Now, looking over here on the right, it actually tells us how many of these we have in stock. You can see right now we have one in stock and it's actually a used unit. Um, if you click on it, it'll actually open up the information about that unit. And you have the ability to modify the price of the unit, what you're going to sell the, the unit for, as well as uh, enter in a margin and have it calculate the, the price for you. Um, you also have the ability, if we come down here to a new unit, you have the ability to modify the price here of the individual unit. And when you do this, it'll only change this one price of that particular unit. If we come up here and change the price uh, on, on the unit here, this is actually going to change all of the, the units. So this is going to change the MSRP. And then we're going to say that we're going to sell it for $4,500. we are going to save this. And now if we open up that detail, you can see that the MSRP has changed to $5,000. The price has changed to $4,500. So the, the, the system gives you a, a really quick way to go in and work with rebates, prices, costs, or not costs, but prices and margins um, in, in an individual control instead of having to go and go to major units and work with them on a one-by-one -one basis. Um, so, and, and we can also, if we come up here, there's also an option here to tell it to only show me the, the units that I actually have in stock. So instead of looking at every single model number that's in the system, we can narrow it down and only look at the ones that we actually have in stock if that's what we want to do. So the new rebates control, again, it's in the serialized section management and then rebates, gives you quite a bit of functionality and a, and a lot easier method for maintaining your rebates on your individual units and keeping up with them.